Today I'm going to show you how to use vectors from the Noun Project, a website where you can download open source or Creative Commons content to use as part of your design. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go here and pick Common. Remember, we are designing a website. And the idea is that you design a poster explaining how is the process of web design. So probably you saw the video uh, in class already and now you, ha you have to start doing a poster or an infographic where you write down the different parts of the, the web design process. So for that you can use numbers, you can use also shapes that you create, but probably you want to use some icons that other people created. So for that we're going to go to our browser and we're going to go to the nounproject.com. So the first thing you have to do is log in. You can join using your ASF account. I am here with my um, personal account, but you can use your, uh, oh, actually I am using my email. So let me go here. Okay, so let's log in. Um, if you remember your password. There you go. So, um, uh, I don't want them to. So, what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to browse inside of the website the icons. So, let's say the first part is about discovery. So, think about what icons can represent discovery. One of the most used icons for discovery is a magnifying glass. So I can just type down magnifying glass and look for the different types of icons. This is very important. It is very important to try to use icons that have a similar, similar style. If you use, I don't know, 20 icons and every icon has a very different style, that will probably see weird on your website or your poster. So I'm going to pick, let me see, something more simple. Like, look at this. This is very, very simple. I think that's something you could do on your own, but I want to find something that is in the middle. Let's say this one, okay? So this one was created by Pedro Santos, and I will say get this icon. So there are different options for you to buy it. We're going to go to basic download and then continue. So once it is downloaded, you're going to find it in your download. So here you're going to click on SVG and download. Okay. So once I have it there, I'm going to go back and say, here I can say open. And then I can open it from here, the name was magnifying glass, it's here, open. So here, you actually see that this comes with the name and everything from the creator. We can actually erase that, boom, delete. And now we end up with this. So I can just go Command C and then go back to Illustrator and put it here. Now, because I'm using an SVG file or a vector file, I can change the fill. I can do a red. I could add a stroke, okay, a black stroke. I can change the width of that stroke. And I can also even change the shape. So probably here, I can change the shape like that or move some components. Maybe I don't want it to look here I'm breaking it, but let's go closer and see how this is here. So here, for example, I can make it just a straight line, okay? So I could erase it here and maybe add a straight line until here, okay? So here you can also modify the file, which is interesting because sometimes the icon is not exactly what you wanted, so you can always change it and then close the shape again by using your 